hey guys so we'll be adding workspaces to our application also we'll be creating a common folder so we can share the code between the server and the web firstly we'll remove this yarn.log file let's remove this dist file over here and then um, we'll remove um, remraf uh, node modules in our server folder and after that we'll create a new folder here call it packages we'll move our server folder inside packages folder now you can see our server folder is inside packages create a new file here package.json for workspaces to work uh, we have to say private is true and then we need to say workspaces and pass in the folder So we will say uh, all our folders is inside packages so packages slash star and that's it so now workspace will start working now we can do is uh, we can run yarn in the root folder let's delete this and create a new instance and I say yarn uh, take a look um, let's exclude it over here so I'll see a false here so I can see my node modules so now you can see a new node module has been created in the root and if you take a look in the server this node module only has like two folder for types and the dot bin and this uh, root one has all the files so root one will um, share between the server and the web that we'll create it's clear and I think I'll, ex I'll say true over here I don't really want to see the node modules folder okay after that um, we'll create a new folder here let's call, call it comments common um, we'll change the directory to um, common here and we'll create a new package.json so we can say yarn init dash y so this will create a new package.json um, let's also include tsconfig for our typescript tsconfig.json let's add in our compiler options so inside our compiler options we'll have um, target what seems to be okay, target it should be ES6 and after that module should be um, common common JS and the libs that we'll use in this is let's add in ES6 and also we'll use ES2017 and then We'll say source maps is true, declaration is true for getting the d.ts file. Declaration is true, and then we'll say where our um, TSC should be built. So we'll say our directory to dot slash dist. We'll call it dist for now, and our module resolution should be uh, known. And then we'll say strict is true. We skip lib check and allow synthetic inputs as well. I don't think we need really need that. So now let's um, exclude the node modules and we'll include all the files under uh, ending in .ts. So include um, dot slash source slash star star slash star dot ts see all the files inside source so we'll create um, we'll also create a build so for building out and we need to say over here uh, we'll be getting our main file from dist and our typings as well so we get that from dist slash index.d.ts and following the convention we need to say 
voting app slash common so this is a convention followed for naming your project so we can create you can also see in our um, package.json here in server so voting app slash server and um, let's create a new folder here let's call it source so what we are creating is a schema for our users so let's create a new folder called schema schemas let's call it user.ts so inside our server in the last video that we have created the um, object type with the ups so let's copy that over let's remove this from here um, let's paste this in here you don't really need um, yup over here let's remove that as well okay seems like it's making saying um, missing schema so we'll add that in so in our user.ts let's export this and also we need to import and also we need to add the up as well for our common so we'll say down add yep. and we need to add the types as well so yarn add dash t types and TypeScript as well we have TypeScript and types for you and now okay let's export this so it's exported let's say in our under our sources let's create a new index.ts file and here we'll say we'll export everything inside source export um, star from um, dot slash schema slash user so we'll be exporting the user from here so now in our package we'll create a new um, build script so let's call the scripts call it build and we'll build it with tsc and what seems to be okay i need to save this over here so building with um, typing just okay so let's build this so yarn build okay here you can see a new folder being created dist okay we should shouldn't really um ignore this dist file so um, let's remove this over here. I think um, we'll say dot slash package slash server slash list. We'll be ignoring the dist file inside this rather uh, than the comments. So we need this file. Um, so that's um, okay so our source has been created so now we need to um, remove our node modules from the root so our server can add in the source I mean the common so also we need to see in our package.json how we will be adding we need to say manually um, at voting app slash um, common and the version number is one point 2.0 take a look in our package you can see version number is 1.0 and the name so now in our root let's close this over here so we are in our root folder now now we can say um, remraf node modules and we'll say yarn again so the build the new dist build gets imported in our server so then we can use the um, user schema that we have created so in our user resolver let's import this thing i did haven't um, 
change the name of this so let's call it sign up input schema now that I have changed the name of this I need to uh, build it again remove the node modules and yarn again so for um, making this simple there is a um, library called learner so what learner does is it helps us if we have workspace so if you just say learner clean to clean all the node modules inside our pack packages and we can also use learner run so it will run all the um, specific um, scripts that we have created so we will install learner first for making everything simple for us so for installing a learner you need to say yarn at um, let's make it dev dependency and we need to say capital W as well for adding learner because of workspaces So in our package.json, let's take a look. Learner has been installed. We need the um, learner.json file. So we'll init learner. So npx learner init. And inside our JSON file, we need to say um, we are using the yarn client. So npm client is yarn. And also we need to say we are using workspaces. So use works. Basis is true. And so that's it. So now we can uh, create a new or else I'll, I'll show you guys. So if you say npx learner clean, so what it does is it goes inside all the um, packages. So our common package and server package and it's removing node module for us. So say yes here, it's cleaning um, node modules. So in our package of JSON, we create a new script again. Let's call it. So what we need to do is build our common file. So let's call this build a common. Okay. So how we are going to build this? Um, we'll say npx learner run the build script, and we need to scope it to our common file. So scope equal to. Um, at voting app slash common okay, then um, we can create another script called clean so we can clean everything up another thing to notice is it doesn't clean the root node module so we'll add that in so we'll say npx learner clean and add rimraf modules so now let's say on um, let's okay now we have removed all the node modules let's say yarn first for building so if, if we need to build something you need the modules first okay now we'll say um, yarn build the common file take a look if everything is all right in common file so okay so it has built successfully now we'll say yarn clean it will remove all the node modules seems like there's an error let's try the Okay, seems like I made a typo here. Is it this from here? I'll say not clean again. Okay, what seems to be the problem in um, Permission delivery. Ok, 
Okay, let's do it manually then. And run graph modules. Okay, let's build. Uh, okay, now we will see yarn again. Okay, so in our um, server file, user resolver. Okay, seems like it's loading now. So let's say import sign up input schema from voting app slash common. Take a look. I think. Um, okay, I didn't save this package or JSON. That's why it was not running. Okay, so let's take a look if everything has loaded properly. Let's restart TypeScript again. We can send this schema over here. Okay, it's working now so it says a module can be found let's save this start a server now change the directory to packages server yarn start dev let's go back um, to a playground let's press play here okay it's working with the issues that we created let's change this over to um, four now you can see um, path and message is not working i mean email and password so that is it i guess um, to recap what we did was we created a new um, file over here package of json we created a new folder packages we moved that server file to packages we created a new folder common and we created this config so our, our directory is dist and declaration is true and in our package json we are building it with tsc the thing that we have to consider is let's um let's say rimraf here rimraf um dot slash dist so we'll remove our dist first then tsc again Okay, now it removes the dist and TSC again so it builds with the typings as well so if we take a look um, index.d.ts schema also has user.d.ts all that jazz and learner.json we were saying npm client is on you spec is true and that's it I guess thank you guys for watching